Hey, what is up everybody? My name's Star Lord. I hope that you're having a fantastic day. And in today's video, we're actually going to be looking at a brand new game type or game mode coming to Fortnite Battle Royale sometime in the near future. And it could actually be sometime very, very soon within the next week or so. And uh, this game mode is actually called Low Gravity. Yes, that is right. There is a low gravity game mode in the game's files that will eventually be implemented into the game. Uh, but before we actually get into all that talk, guys, please do not forget to to leave a like on the video. Let's see if we can hit 700 likes. That would be absolutely amazing. But if not, uh, go and check out my channel, guys, and go and subscribe. I do Fortnite glitches, guides, videos, all that kind of stuff, including some V-Bucks giveaways every now and then when I can. So feel free to go over to the channel, check it out. You will not be disappointed with the content I upload every single day. Uh, but anyway, now that's out of the way, let's talk about low gravity mode. Um, so low gravity mode was actually leaked around about two months ago when somebody data mined the in-game files. They basically went into the sneaky stuff, found that there was a load of different game modes that were already in the game's files. And uh, they should be on screen right now. And as you can see, we've got 5v20 or 5x20, blitz, builders, faster rings, high jump, lots of loot, low grav, Playground, rockets and grenades, shotguns, sky supply, sneaky silencers, snipers only, solid gold, steady storm, take the disguise and use it. All of these are eventually, in some way or another, going to be implemented into Fortnite Battle Royale within this year. Now, honestly, there's going to be loads more coming out. There's not only just going to be these, there's going to be a heck load more. Because, of course, 50v50 is not on that list, but 50v50 is actually coming out and that is confirmed. Now, the reason why I'm actually bringing up low gravity in this video is because that there is a big, huge kind of speculation theory going on right now about a asteroid that is headed for the map in Fortnite Battle Royale. And I just kind of wanted to give a different kind of twist on things and suggest, like... What if when this actual meteorite hits the ground, it kind of implements this new game mode where in certain locations where meteorites have actually hit, there is a low gravity field within a certain amount of radius. And of course, you know, this would then be the low gravity mode. I mean, this would be an opt-in game modes. I mean, you wouldn't just go and search for singles and automatically you've got low gravity. This would be a limited time mode, of course, because that's what it actually is. But I was thinking this would be a good way to implement that into the actual game itself because, you know, low gravity, meteorites, space exploration, everything like that. It just makes absolute sense. Now, of course, there are, there are so many, like, rumors going around about, you know, Tilted Towers being destroyed, uh, Dusty Depot being destroyed, this, that, and the other. Anything can literally happen with this asteroid event. It, it genuinely is, like, out of everyone's control. Like, we don't know what's going to happen, but what I am going to assume is that maybe after this asteroid event actually hits down, there will be a new point of interest on the map, a new place where you can drop down and loot. And I think this will be a little bit of a futuristic kind of crash site because every now and then when you go around in Fortnite Battle Royale, as of the last update, in certain places around the map, you can hear this kind of alien technology beeping noise and it's genuinely there in the map. Like, it's I, if I have a video, I will probably put it on screen right now, but if I don't, I'm very sorry. I just wasn't able to get a hold of it or get permission off the actual person who uh, uploaded it. Uh, but basically, around Dusty Depot, you can hear noises of these alien kind of beeping things. And I was thinking, well, that's kind of crazy because obviously there is something under the map that Epic have put there, but obviously we can't see. And they're basically waiting for this update to come out. And then obviously, like, you know, it will be revealed what they are underneath the map. Because let's say, for example, there is something under the map right now, some alien kind of technology. Once a meteorite hits that area, it will take a chunk of land out of that area, which will then expose that item. And I was kind of thinking that would be extremely cool if it was like some kind of like alien technology and it wasn't actually a meteorite. What if it was like some kind of package from a international space station or something like that, which was going really, really fast uh, with crazy speeds. And, you know, obviously it built that kind of flame around it that looks like a comet. It hit down and every now and then around the map, you can find some sort of chest that will give you something really rare inside of it. Even maybe a new weapon or... A jetpack. Yeah, exactly. A jetpack, right? Like, maybe it's some kind of, you know, high-tech technology. 
Like, that's the only reason why I kind of assume this, because the bleeping noises do sound futuristic. They sound like they're out of this world. They sound like they, de they belong on a space station or an aircraft of some type, whether that's like a UFO or a shuttle, I don't know. But still, they sound very, very futuristic. Now, if they did actually decide to add the jetpacks, which they have planned to do for quite some time now, but they've had to delay it constantly, and maybe they're going to add these jetpacks sometime very soon too. And if they do add that jet the jetpacks, they will actually be implementing the game mode Take to the Skies, because that is the only game mode where jetpacks are actually going to be available. It's going to be a limited time mode, and yeah, Take to the Skies, as it sounds, you know, you get the jetpacks and you fly really, really high and stuff. So, in my opinion, there could be the low gravity mode that comes out, or the Take to the Skies, within the next couple of weeks. But until we tomorrow, I guess, I guess, I mean, everyone's saying that it's going to be April the 1st, that the uh, meteorite's actually going to land. But, when we actually look at the in-game files, at the meteorite itself, like the actual comet, uh, you can see that it says Phase 2. And I was thinking, well, phase two doesn't sound like that much of a, you know, it doesn't sound that far into the phases. I mean, when we were th talking about like, oh yeah, uh, Marvel Studios phase one, two, three, four in their movies and everything. Like, I would say phase five is the big thing. And you never know, like maybe tomorrow the asteroid will just get a little bit closer and there won't actually be some kind of event. Maybe it might be when the season pass actually ends in 30 days because, you know, um, Let's see, for example, like, it's at stage 2 right now. Uh, stage 3, 4, 5. Uh, yeah, that's like enough time to get to the end of this month. So, I don't know. I feel like there could be something at the end of the month getting implemented. Or maybe this meteorite will not crash down tomorrow. Maybe it's going to be at the end of the month when the Season 3 Battle Pass ends. So... Yeah, I know this all sounds crazy, guys, but, you know, everyone's got their different little theories and everything like that. And if you do agree with mine, please comment down below. If you don't, comment down below again. It's, it's okay. If you have a different opinion of mine, feel free to comment it down below. I will read it and I will take it into consideration. Everyone's views and everything is appreciated in the comments. But other than that, guys, thank you very much for watching today's video. I had a blast making this, only because I love speculation videos, kind of guessing what they're going to do and everything. I cannot wait to see more of this in the future from the developers of uh, Epic, because it's just insane. I mean, so many Fortnite, uh, what is it, GTA YouTubers, like, kept their channels going, just talking about these jetpacks, doing theory videos, doing, like, little kind of hints, guides, and everything like that towards the jetpack. And you never know, maybe that kind of stuff can happen with this community, too. Hopefully not as long as three years, like GTA did it, but still, you know, you kind of get the gist, guys. Uh, but anyway, guys, like I said, thank you very much for watching today's video. Have an awesome day. Enjoy the gameplay in the background. And, uh, yeah, tell me your thoughts in the comment section below. Do you think that Tilted Towers is going to get destroyed tomorrow? I, for one, I'm kind of hoping for it. I mean, I kind of don't want it to happen, but I kind of do. It's like I kind of want Captain America to die in Infinity War, but then I kind of don't because I love him so much too. Um, but anyway, thank you very much for watching today's video, guys. Have an awesome day. And until next time... I mean Star Lord. Oh, see ya.